Hey everybody, welcome to the garden. I hope you're having a great day. Shout out to the lemon and lime lovers and everybody in between. It's time for a crypto highlight video. And if you're interested in any of the services I provide, please check the links in the description below for both the Patreon and Discord. And if you would like for me to highlight an asset for you, whether it's a stock or a crypto, make sure to join the Discord and become a member of one of the services I provide, whether that's a swing trade service, tutoring service, or the day trading room. Check out those services. You can find them in the Discord as well as, as, well as in the Patreon link below. Okay, so <clears throat> I was suggested to look at RSR this time around. And actually, if you go back into the playlist of the crypto stock highlight video set, you'll find that I've already covered RSR. So we actually have some doodles from the last time. But I like doing these updates anyway. So now we can see kind of what happened from what I've said, whether I was right, whether I was wrong, or if we're just virtually in the same place. Now, in the monthly chart, we're virtually in the same place. Uh, from where what I was describing back then for the you know the video was I want to say maybe a month old maybe a little bit longer than that <clears throat> and we're we're virtually around the same area so nothing much has changed on the monthly now going down to the weekly we do have somewhat of an update okay so back when I was looking at on the weekly we were building out I believe this candle here or this candle here but since we built out this candle here this is pretty much on November 21st so uh, just a little little over a, a week and a half or so two weeks um, so far, this candle here is our uh, pretty much our line in the sand. Okay, so we could see a short-term upswing in RSR getting towards this level. This is the fair value gap I drew on the daily time frame. So we'll get a better view of that once I get back down to that time frame. This bullish candle here is going to be a big, big deal for the low wick here to hold. So if we can see this level hold, we'll actually make this line black yep perfect so 0 0.00356 i would consider watch for a small uptrend okay watch for a trend to float up towards this fair value gap and once you get towards that fair value gap on the daily then look out we could see a reversal back down now the reversal may not be bearish okay we're going to go over the scenarios as we go down to the daily time frame but not much has changed on the weekly except for this candle here okay this is a very nice candle nice low wick if we can hold that and, and, and then what we should see a slow float up to the higher levels now going down to the daily time frame i actually like what i'm seeing here so in the last recap or last highlight i should say i remember saying that it, it was a little too early to tell what kind of consolidation were we what that we were in we couldn't see if it was going to be bullish or bearish we didn't have any bias as of yet uh, but as this consolidation has been maturing out, I do have a slight bullish t tilt on it, mainly due to a couple of reasons. One, back when I was looking at it, it was right around this area here. We had a nice little uh, sell through, taking out the liquidity under this low wick. Then we had a nice little bottoming structure here. Okay, nice little, nice little pop. And then we had a nice little consolidation right here. Another pop to take out the highs of this consolidation right here. So that is a huge deal in my opinion because we were able to swipe up, grab some liquidity above this level from this wick here. Then we came down and now we're in, a, we're in an attempt to create a higher low from this low right here. And this is that low wick on the weekly time frame. That's why it's so important. If we can make that higher low structure on the daily, it gives us a really nice base, a really nice structure to see a move to the upside to start filling out this spare value gap here, to start attacking this imbalance. And in the last uh, you know, highlight video I did on RSR, what did I say? I say what happens when you lose a level, what tends to happen, probability-wise at least, you get price to retest that zone once more and then you know, accept whether it's failed off of it or reclaim it. Obviously, the probabilities are that it would fail off of the level, okay? Sometimes it gets reclaimed, but more often than not, you'll see price come down from a level, like right here, break down, consolidate for some time, and then find the impulse to break up higher, whether that's a strong impulse up or a, a slow grind up, reach that level, and then fail off and come down lower. And either you're gonna continue the macro downtrend, right? So the macro trend, in this case, it's a downtrend for RSR, 
or you're going to create a larger bottoming structure so a higher low from this overall consolidation down here that's how charts work guys it's that simple now it's not easy no one no one can honestly tell you it's easy trading unless they're lying to you but what they can tell you what i'm going to tell you is you can make it easier because it comes down to some basic ideas some basic philosophies and some basic rules in charting you're always going to get these ebbs and flows and the ebbs and flows create bigger structures okay they either create continuations or bigger structures so we're potentially going to see a bigger structure bottoming structure on rsr or a continuation all right so this is what i'm seeing coming in the short term so within a week or so maybe two weeks but sometime in december i do see that rsr will likely make it at least back towards the lower side of this larger fair value gap tapping into the liquidity that's sitting in this zone and then we may end up seeing it fail from there okay but overall i have to have a bullish tilt especially because this consolidation on the daily though it's not overly bullish it's also not overly bearish and if you take a quick look at it you know what i'm also seeing here is more of a a a a, a, a neutral structure and you can almost say you could potentially see some of a small little left shoulder here small little head and potentially a small little right shoulder being built here and the you know the if you we were going to say this is the neckline right here so let's say this right here was the neckline of this kind of funky head and shoulders okay then what would be the measured move from that level so you go from the neck draw down to the bottom of the head okay so right around here and then you pull up from the neck the break so it would be right into the lower side of the fair value gap okay so you're, you're looking at the same general area for price to get to and then once you start tapping into this fair value gap then you're looking at uh potentially the failure to break lower or find some impulse to come up test this higher level fill out as much of this fair value gap as possible and then break lower still and then we, we would look for a higher low from this structure overall now let's say you're looking for a trade right so if you're looking to get in let's say today well what i would say is play the daily time frame and use the weekly lower wick as your exit okay so pop your stop down there and then look to play the daily okay so the way the risk reward would look is pretty simple in my opinion so let's say you let's just say you were to market in today now i'm not recommending you do this i'm just giving you an example if you're going to market in today i would have my stop right under this level here so right here at about let's say like three five four you could you could round it down to three five all right, so you're risking anywhere from 13.5% to probably 16%. And then look, you could target the bottom side of this fair value gap, which is right at, you know, it's like a 1.62 risk reward generally, so 21.76%. Or you can look to try and, you know, target the high side, so towards the top of the fair value gap, using maybe this ascending trend line as your ultimate target level. And you're looking at a pretty decent move if it should play out, and your risk reward is absolutely fabulous. So, you know, I do think RSR is very bullish. I like it. Um, I'm also a pretty big fan of it fundamentally as I've, you know, I've actually started to look into it more after my previous video. Um, I had a lot of commenters telling me they were very, very positive, positive on RSR and reserve rights token and how many big players were behind it. And, you know, looking into it, I saw that there is definitely some potential here. And to me, the chart is brewing. Uh, both on the daily time frame, but even on the monthly time frame, the chart is brewing for something here. Uh, so I would definitely keep my eye on it. Uh, and, and, you know, again, you want to make sure you go in with the proper amount of caution. Now, I'm not telling you to throw your money to the wind. Okay, you want it, if you're going to be looking to buy this asset, you want to invest in it, that's your own choice. And I always recommend to people, you know, use money you can afford to lose. And also never go in all at once you want to parse your your position sizing so you know you have a thousand dollars you have five hundred dollars use fifty dollars here use a hundred dollars here go after the the levels that interest you as it gets cheaper okay never chase it just put in a little bit here and there dollar cost average it, it works out best that way in the long run and if you're looking for a trade here's here's an idea be ready to risk anywhere from 13 16 percent before the fees 
and then look to target the fair value gap, whether that's going to be a conservative level right here at the low side, so you're potentially going to make 20 plus percent, or you're going for the higher, you know, the higher uh, levels of the fair value gap, potentially 50 plus percent. Okay, so you know, I, I think that's pretty simple. Um, so you know, if you have any questions about this, make sure to ask me on the Discord because that's where I'm most active. That's where it's easier to get easiest to get in touch with me. I would love for you to leave a comment. I try to keep up up with all the comments I get. And uh, if you like the content, make sure to subscribe, maybe share it around. And again, like I mentioned before, if you're interested in any of my services, make sure to check out those links in the, in the description below, as well as I just partnered up with uh, Mexi Global, uh, the futures exchange. So if you want to join the futures world and start trading futures, maybe check out that referral link and uh, use Mexi. You can't, you can't really get better than them. Their, their platform is pretty solid. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thanks again for being subscribers. Thanks again for being supporters. And remember, be patient, be vigilant, and be nimble. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.